Howdy, howdy, this is Crafty Grinding, and it looks like Bam is trying to ride that wave of hype around Namor. And uh, what better way to, than to release a crystal package where you have a chance to get him as a sub-feature champ. So if you follow my channel and you saw my Namor feature Cavalier Crystal opening, you know that I was uh, only opened up five because I'm holding out on uh, when the Invisible Woman crystals become available here in uh, another week or so. And... Um, just because I, you know, Neymar is going to be the or is the uh, sub feature champ in these crystals, and I didn't want any part of Ebony Maul <laughs> since he was a sub feature in Neymar's crystal. And knowing that, I just figured I'd go ahead and wait for the Invisible Woman crystals to come around. Well, look at this. It looks like a Bam heard my uh, request, and I'm sure they're, like I said, trying to ride the uh, wave of hype across the community for folks trying to get Neymar to offer us all this nice little bundle and typically with these uh, preview bundle feature uh, crystal bundle packages they they give you kind of a two-for-one deal but with the cavalier crystals not so much it's really kind of a one-for-one one. Um, and when i say kind of comparison one for one it's like if you were just to buy the units which is around uh, fifty dollars worth of units and just convert the and take those units you can get five of the uh, cavalier feature crystals however they do throw in the um the buff you know the attack and bo the boost basically the attack and health boost the 30 percent which are nice plus this time they also threw in 500 uh six star shards which are all also nice speaking of which i am like very close <laughs> oh my oh my gosh less than 100 away basically 35 away from my next uh six star uh, crystal so really hoping that uh Hey, I do get a, f a five star. That's always good with these rate. If you can get a five star with these crystals, that's uh, you're beating the uh, the casino rates already. The Marvel or Kabam uh, contest or casino of champions, I should say, not contest, but uh, casino of champions. If you can get uh, basically with this, you've got a I think it's like seventeen percent. Yeah, seventeen percent chance of getting a, a five star. So out of five, if you can get one, that means you basically beat the odds there. So. A, hopefully I get that, which makes this for a good a good a good chance to be a good opening. But secondly, I'll hopefully get a dupe, which means that I can can uh, open up a six star crystal here soon. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into these and see what I get. So obviously getting an invisible woman would be great, but really hoping to get the sub feature champion. Name more is a focus, a five star. And I was thinking about it. Would I rather have a six star, five star? Sure. I'd love to get a six star. I've been wanting to get a six star to really, uh, you know, take up to rank uh, two. But uh, hey, oh, I thought it was going to roll over to Korg, but it uh, doesn't look like it. That's my first. Okay. Havoc. Wow. That's the first time I have Havoc on this account. That's crazy. I thought I had him as at least a three star, four star, but I guess not. But anyway, I mean, um, while Namor would be great as a six-star, no doubt about it, especially for just the amount of damage, bursty damage he could do, his uh, signature ability also helps him to tank a bit and uh, gives him a little bit longevity. His ability to kind of shrug off, debuff, and turn that right back around as damage against the defender. So anyway, I think I would rather have a five-star. So how about a five-star beast? I got him. That should be my dupe. Yes. All right. So not only did I get a five-star... But I did get a dupe of a five star. Was that my? I think that just said my first. Yeah. But anyway, I think that was the first time duping beast. But regardless, the nice two hundred and seventy-five. Yes, crystal shards. So keep an eye out for my, my uh, next six star crystal opening, which should uh, probably be coming out here soon. But the good news is I did get a five star two out of these. So. Um, already kind of beating the bank if you will no sign i did see invisible woman just kind of go by the uh, spinner there a second ago Ooh, that extra spin maybe that means i'm gonna get her now let's get a six star that uh, looks like another five star and magneto the marvel now version yay nowhere close well i mean halfway anyway to uh having him maxed out his signature ability anyway so i think that's two three stars and a four five stars so hopefully no more three stars because that means i really did beat the bank if you look at the the rates you should uh the drop rates you should on average have more four stars or better than three stars i think it's like a 45 percent chance to get a three star and everything else is better so hopefully that's the case name or stop oh hey invisible woman they did get a little troll roll though so i did get the uh this is kind of shaping up a bit like my uh namor feature cavalier crystal opening where i did get uh, only one five star and um 
Everything else was three stars, but one of them was a feature champ. And this is kind of how this is playing out again here, which I'm not going to complain. I did get the uh, the five-star dupe, which was what I was after. So this is already kind of a good opening there, but would love to get Namor. And that five-star troll roll there on Namor was definitely definitely to get the heart rate up, but just, again, kabam trolling, as they always love to do with the... Uh, and it's all theatrics with the spinner, because it's apparently the, the way the algorithm works is once you place the crystal in the, the spinner, that's when it's already determined. So how about a five-star? Hey, four-star invisible. <laughs> hey, that's actually all right, though. Um, I actually got around when Ant-Man came up as the, in, in, as the champ of the day within the Fantastic Four daily event. Uh, I did get a chance to play around with him. If you run the Quantum Synergies with uh, Ghost and... Um, and Wasp, he actually is a decent champ. Plus, there's a cool little side synergy you get with Nick Fury to where you add three first evades on any hits. And I think that was his first time awakening. So, hey, all in all, not only did I get one five-star, I got a two five-stars, and one of them was a dupe. So, or, sorry, both of them was a dupe, which is really nice. So I got more than enough six-star crystals now. So I'll get to open up a... Uh, six star crystal here soon so keep an eye out for that especially if you follow my channel if you don't now's a good time to jump on board and see who i get for a six star um but anyway invisible women i did get her as a champ but i am part of the the kabam or kabam's uh, content creator program so i've had access to her as a four star already so i was really hoping to get either a five star or six star but in reality what i was after was the sub feature so i'm going to stick with my plan and uh, probably open up 10 more of these when she's officially, um, when her feature crystal is officially rolled out here in a week or so. Um, but this is definitely a good start. Get to open up a six star here very soon. I mean, anytime out of five, you know, out of five crystals, out of the five feature Cravalier crystals, and you can get two five stars, you definitely beat the bank with these. So very excited with that. So all in all, happy with it. And uh, if you decided to go ahead and either purchase the Cavalier crystal version or um, the Grandmaster uh, feature version um, would love to hear how you did throw it on down in the comment section we can discuss it there other than that if you enjoyed watching this video we'd really appreciate it if you click that thumbs up button and if you like this and other uh, videos i have on the channel and you haven't subscribed we'd really appreciate it if you would thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day